Welcome back, YouTubers. I'm in Milan, Italy, to catch Emirates' fifth freedom flight to New York City. Now, this baby is on an A380. Get out of this train station, find a way to check in, get rid of this bag, and see if we can have a look around at this airport. The train takes 41 minutes to cover 26 miles to get you to the airport. As you're making your way to Terminal 1, make sure to stop and check out this hard exhibit and enjoy it. The way this airport works is there's an A side and a B side in Terminal 1. Look for your check-in number to go find your airline. Good news is I found somewhere to weigh my bag real quick to get an idea how heavy my suitcase is because I'm bringing back some wine and cheese from Italy. Just a must do, you know? But I found check-in. Let's go get a line and see how long this takes. Check-in, as you can see, was definitely not long at all. As I got in line, I couldn't help but notice this gentleman with the wrapped up suitcase. In the comments below, are you the type to wrap your suitcase? I've been in the airline industry about 20 years and I think this is a waste of time and money. But back to what's important. Let's get this bag checked and see how I did on weight. As you can see, just under 21 kilograms. 23 kilograms is the max for an economy ticket. Just letting you know. Such a bummer that I will not be on that colorful A380 for Emirates. That one right there. This is actually headed to Dubai and I'm going to JFK. This airport is full of Fifth Freedom House. There's the Singapore plane out there. It goes Barcelona to Milan, then Milan on to Singapore. I got checked in. I'm gonna go try and find a bite to eat. Maybe see my delayed plane land and go from there. So this is just one half of Terminal 1's check-in, and then the other half, A, B, make sure you don't get lost. Terminal 1 is most of the airlines. There is a Terminal 2 on the other side of the airfield that the train goes to. Make sure you know what terminal you are going to before getting off that train. If you're hungry in half time, stop in at the food court and get a bite to eat, or get through security and see what they got. I tell you, it looks very basic. But a margarita pizza here, which is cheese pizza, something else. Tastes way better than in the States for some reason. Once you find a good Italian spot. <sighs> now that I got a full belly, let's go watch this beautiful A380 land and then get through security. In the main terminal one, there are plenty of excellent views of the ramp and runways to plain spot. Just to be a nerd, go do it. After watching Iceland Air land and taxi in, my beautiful A380 I'm about to be on landed and I had an excellent view for a taxiing in. So let's sit here and enjoy this view. If you're not a fan, fast forward. Wow, isn't she stunning? All right, let's not horse around any longer. Let's get through security. Supposedly boarding's in an hour. Security did something unique, and that's separating the passengers going to Israel and USA. First step done, and as you're walking down the stairs, you get that waft of duty-free cologne and perfumes. Now we're off to passport control. As you're making your way through, you'll see plenty of cafes that serve sandwiches and bar areas that serve hot food as well. And if you're wondering, they do have a couple lounges here, Emirates, and I think premium lounges tied to Priority Pass. I took a look at the screen to see how long the walk to the gate would be as we were nearing passport control. That was pretty easy. I will say that Milan has it together with their baggage system 
just throw your bag in the tray and through security goes nothing taken out lastly make sure you have plenty of time after going through duty free seeing all the shops restaurants you have enough time to get through passport control in case there's a long line be warned because sometimes a lot of y'all waste time and rush and rush and rush set to the gate and get more views of this plane and just chill out until boarding after i did that little segment i saw the emirates crew walking by there she is is it just me or is this milan airport very dark dingy just very outdated it needs a facelift as i grew closer and closer to the gate i noticed this airport didn't have much of a window view when comparing to other airports i definitely figured it out the vibes this airport gives off is the old newark and laguardia terminals and i'm still sure newark a lot of it's current but that's the dark and dinginess i'm talking about and sure enough you get to the gate and there's not much view of this beautiful a380 just its nose tail and outer wing the way the boarding process works for economy class passengers it may look like they're doing zone boarding but they're actually boarding from the back to the front Ooh, finally boarding we should be pushing by now the a380 is such a massive bird that it can use three jetways to board passengers one in the upper two in the lower deck once on board you'll quickly see that this plane is all economy in the lower deck 343 configuration which comes out to being 427 economy seats as for my seat i'll be sitting in 43a usually in other airlines this is a first class seat like british airways flight i took but for this plane first class and business are upstairs now that i'm settled in let's have a look around at the seat emirates has pretty decent legroom for economy class the trade table not only folds down but folds out too it's two sections and you can find all the seatback literature in this sleeve right here each seat comes with a plug and a coat hook and might i add that this plug is in perfect position rather than between your legs and then it also has a usb port and the headphone jack on your left when you arrive at your seat there'll be a pillow headphones and a big blanket it was actually very warm and cozy and after folding this up you'll see a cup holder there and this cup holder which i like to call a fidget spinner so if you're bored just twirl it around another plus feature that i love about emirates are these cameras you got the tail camera the belly camera and the nose camera as we watch the ramp hook up the pushback Air Cali, providing you with award-winning service today is it was definitely a delight to see these air vents up above we're all set to go and what do you know nobody is in the middle seat next to me how exciting extra leg room these windows and the curve of the plane definitely gave off a limited view you can barely see the engine at just the right angle after getting pushed back if you're on the correct side of the airplane get a good look at the pushback and the marshaller holding up the bypass pin to show the captain he's cleared the taxi. We taxied away, making our way to the runway. Looking across the airfield, you'll see the other terminal, Terminal 2, exclusively the house of EasyJet in Milan. Little did I know how useful these cameras on this plane would be along this journey. Just wait and see. Sometime random filming just pays off as my av geekness just kicked in as my favorite plane came in for a landing. As we waited on two easy jet planes to take off, we soon turned on the runway and it was our turn to go. Today's journey will cover 3,990 miles in about 8 hour span.
Now let's give those headphones a try that they give out. They're not too shabby, but they are better than earbuds. Now that we're above the clouds, let's give this entertainment system a check. The first section being the information, which is filled with lots of trending, news headlines, flight information, and maps. Then you got the communications. We have the Wi-Fi, USB media player, seat to seat phone calling, that was something else, and passenger survey. And lastly, you have the entertainment section. Movies, TV, podcasts and audio, music, and even some kind of live TV. Plenty to choose from. I was very thrilled I decided to open my window shade and look back outside. I was treated to the magnificent Swiss Alp peaks below. And then also this glacier, if you look closely down in the middle, you can see it going down the valley. Moving on, let's check out this little amenity kit they give all the economy passengers. You are treated with socks, eye mask, toothbrush, and toothpaste to keep fresh. About an hour after takeoff, it was time for dinner. And in the app, you could check out the menu of what's served tonight. I opted for the pesto chicken with marinara sauce and spinach and creamy polenta. Let's get that tray table down and grub. Emirates' service and economy is nothing short of amazing so far. Everything has been great, and this meal just hits. It tastes so good for economy food. But hey, let's talk about that dessert. That cheesecake right here, oh, I wish I had like three of them. They were so good. I was definitely surprised to see metal utensils. Usually it's plastic or wood. Afterwards, I washed it down with a cup of tea. I was full and happy. We would soon be running out of sunlight, and with the food digesting oh so nicely, it was definitely giving me the doses as the sun was setting with the beautiful glow. Many hours later. After falling asleep for a while, I woke up over Goose Bay, Canada, and to my surprise, we were still chasing the sun. About an hour and a half before landing, they came around with a snack box filled with lots of treats. Well now. It's time for your laugh tour. I tell you, the six hours went by pretty quick. I slept for most of that. <laughs> uh, just got done with the last snack. We're about less than two hours out from New York City. Nice touch. I must say too that these bathrooms are set up pretty cool in the sense of they're up the stairs kind of like how the cockpit you walk up the stairs to get to the cockpit uh, there's it look like four bathrooms up front and imagine so with this jumbo jet these are the stairs to first class and business and also the bar in the back and those are the stairs to the cockpit like i mentioned as we descended into New York City, the crew changed the cabin lights to a mood lighting of sunset. The city lights all around would come into view. I know you can't fully make it out, but off to the center and right is Manhattan and the New York skyline. The inner nerd in me quickly toggled through the cameras and continued to look out the window to get the best views possible of JFK as we landed. So cool to see the runway. Since I was sitting so far in the front of the plane, you couldn't hear the engines as well as I hoped. Since we were such a big massive plane, it would take 20 to 30 minutes to taxi slowly to Terminal 4. Let me let you in on a little secret. Those of you that pay attention to detail and make it this far in all my videos, I have an easter egg. That easter egg is every time the plane stops it dings. This is the first time it didn't. Now let's get off and go collect our luggage. Take care, thank you. Yeah. 
seriously, if you don't have global entry, you need to get it. All the lines for passport control, customs, all the good stuff was over an hour wait, whether you had mobile passport, no mobile, regular line, visas, you name it. But made it through. Hope you enjoyed that ride. That was Emirates A380 in economy class. Love y'all. See you in the next video. Let's go have some fun and more adventures. See ya.